Delong Paradoxus. Delong, which means emperor or dragon, is a genus of basal tyrannosauroid dinosaur. The only species is Delong Paradoxus. It is from the lower Cretaceous Yuxian formation near Lujiachun, Beibiao, in the western Liaoning province of China. It lived about 126 million years ago. Discovery Delong was described by Xu Xing and colleagues in 2004. The name is derived from the Chinese D meaning emperor and long meaning dragon. D, emperor, refers to the relationship of this animal to Tyrannosaurus rex, the king Tyrannosaurid. Long is used to name Chinese dinosaurs in much the same way that the Latin saurus in the West. The specific name, Paradoxus, is a Latinization of the ancient Greek Pi Alpha Rho Delta Omicron Xi Omicron Nu meaning against received wisdom. Description the type specimen is IVPP 14243, Institute of Vertebrate Paleontology and Paleoanthropology in Beijing, a nearly complete, semi-articulated, skull and skeleton. Referred material includes IVPP 1242, a nearly complete skull and presacral vertebrae, TNP 1109, Tianjin Museum of Natural History, a partial skull, and IVPP V11579, another skull which may belong to D. Dot paradoxus, or to a related species. The type specimen of Delong was about 1.6 meters, 5.2 feet, in length, but it is thought to be a juvenile and may have been over 2 meters, 6.6 feet, long when fully grown. Feathers Delong paradoxus had a covering of simple feathers or protofeathers. The feathers were seen in fossilized skin impressions from near the jaw and tail. They are not identical to modern bird feathers, lacking a central shaft and most likely used for warmth since they could not have enabled flight. Adult Tyrannosaurs, found in Alberta and Mongolia have skin impressions which appear to show the pebbly scales typical of other dinosaurs. Xu et al. 2004, speculated that the Tyrannosauroids may have had different skin coverings on different parts of their bodies, perhaps mixing scales and feathers. They also speculated that feathers may correlate negatively with body size, that juveniles may have been feathered, then shed the feathers and expressed only scales as the animal became larger and no longer needed insulation to stay warm. Dot. Classification When D. Long was first described, it was considered one of the earliest and most primitive members of Tyrannosauroidea, the group that includes the later, larger Tyrannosaurids such as Tyrannosaurus rex. At least one later study, by Turner and colleagues in 2007, Reanalyze the relationships of Coilurosaurian dinosaurs, including Delong, and found that it was not a Tyrannosauroid. Rather, they placed Delong two steps above the Tyrannosauroids in their phylogeny, more advanced than Coelurus, but more primitive than the Copsognathidae. However, other studies continued to find Delong as a Tyrannosauroid, and some, such as Carr and Williams in 2010, found Delong to fall within Tyrannosauroidea, not among the more advanced Coelurosaurs. Below is a cladogram containing most Tyrannosauroids by Lowe and et al. In 2013. In a 2014 study, Delong was found to be a Perceratosaurid. However, in an analysis by Brusate et al. In 2016, both parsimony and Bayesian phylogenetic analyzes placed Delong outside of Perceratosauridae, as a slightly more advanced Tyrannosauroid. Paleobiology Brain case scans indicate that Delong had an S-shaped brain protected by thin meninges, unlike Tyrannosaurus which has a more linear brain protected by thicker meninges, this is probably a size-related trait, as it is in crocodilians. The large flocculus of Delong suggests it was agile and had good balance, while small olfactory tracts suggest that its sense of smell was not as refined as that of Tyrannosaurus and other more advanced Tyrannosauroids.